Good morning. So, um, eight days to go. I'm going to do the countdown now because it is that close. So, eight days to go until I get married. And yeah, even under a week before I go to Goa. So, uh, yeah, it's hitting home now. A lot of things to arrange, a lot of things to do. But I am just crazy excited. Um, as I said, my guests are arriving this week. Um, in fact, my first guest, my best man, has just called me. He's arrived safe and sound and he's in his hotel. In fact, he's already on the beach with a beer. Um, and my dad and mom and brother uh, are all coming tomorrow and then each day s some more people will come. So, yeah, it's it's so nice to have these people come in. Um, obviously to my wedding in, in the one, one step, but also the fact that they're coming to India for the first time and actually seeing where I live and what I'm doing out here. And obviously they get a chance to meet Candice's family. Um, some they've already met, but they'll get to meet Candice's family and of course all my friends that I've made here and Candice's friends. So it's gonna be one hell of a get together and one hell of a party, I hope. Um, so re regarding the training side of it, um, yeah, it's still 100% on the diet. I'm, I'm just, I know that I'm not going to change. Everything is absolutely perfect. I'm not going to change it anymore either. The, I'm going to be in ketosis all the way through uh, until I get to Goa because I'm getting results and I'm coping with it. So um, I don't feel like I'm in too much of a deficit. Energy is good, no cravings. So everything's going good. Training really good. Training today was, was good. Um, it was hard, but I got through it and pushed myself. It was a cardio session and weighed myself today. And I was the lightest I've been since I can remember. I was 87.2 kilos. So I was, what was I when I first started? I was 91 when I first started this. So already I've lost some considerable weight, which is incredible. Um, and I'm looking completely different. I know that I'm looking completely different, but I'm at that stage, whether it's today or, or whatever it is, but I look in the mirror and I, I'm still not, still not happy, and I think this is a problem. Um, obviously, with me, but with a lot of people, is you know we're always striving for the perfect body or the perfect look or what we think will make us happy. And even you know from the outside looking in, people might describe someone else as having the perfect body or the perfect look, but that person's rarely happy with how they're looking, and that's just because we constantly want to progress. And I'm really battling with that. Um, Especially today, I've, I've looked in the mirror a few times. No difference there. But I've looked in the mirror a few times and I'm not, I'm not overly happy with what I see. I know I'm improving. I know that. But I, I still want more results. I still want to look better. And um, yeah, it's tough. It's really, really tough. And it, it plays with your head a little bit. But then, like I said, I looked at the scales and I'm 87.2 and then I start playing a game. It, I know it's nothing about the weight, but I know I've lost weight, so I know that I'm I'm getting improvements. But really, the scales don't tell me much other than my weight. They don't tell me how I'm looking. They don't tell me how I'm feeling or what, what I'm going to feel like in my clothes. But they are an indication. But now I've got into the game of, all right, let's see how much weight I can lose. And that's a little bit of a dangerous game because, um, because yeah, it does. I might get to a point where actually I don't need to lose much more weight. In fact, I'm probably there now. I could do losing a bit of body fat, which means weight will come off. But in the back of my mind, I'm telling myself, oh, let's get to 86. 87 is not enough. Let's get to 86 kilos. So again, it's just so, so difficult to, to get that balance. And um, today I'm struggling with it a little bit. I know I'm doing great. I know I'm looking good. But... If I'm honest with you, I, I also know that I can look better and I can do better. So, um, yeah, I think, like I said, this is probably like a, a five week prep. If I'm doing a photo shoot or something or, you know, things that I've done in the past, I, I allow myself 12 weeks. So I've been really um, quite aggressive with the dieting and aggressive with the training. So I've, I've got the results quite quickly, uh, which isn't the best way to do it. I know that, but obviously I was against a time frame. But um, yeah, I. I I'd love to go on for a little bit longer. I'd love to do eight weeks, 12 weeks. Um, I'd like to carry on with it, but I'm not going to because I'm getting married and at the wedding, I'm going to enjoy myself. So I will definitely be an off plan and I will definitely be having some drinks and I definitely won't be training. Um, I've already decided that. So for that week, I'm going to be enjoying myself. But yeah, already I'm, I'm looking beyond that and I'm looking to what I'm going to be doing when I'm coming back um, because I... 
I am happier at this weight and I want to be able to maintain this weight and this and this body frame so yeah so I'm already looking there but uh, as of now one week to go I'm gonna get to 86 kilos I'm, I don't care I know it's uh, a stupid goal but it'll it'll just be good for my mentality which mean, will mean that I'm gonna lose more body fat so yeah a little bit more body fat to lose and yeah, I'm just going to keep going. And then when I get to Goa, uh, the the first couple of days, I'm going to introduce carbs again. But not, not loads. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to just introduce them uh, in a couple of meals. Um, just to fill me out a little bit. And probably make me look even better. I'll look a little bit more swollen in the right places. The muscles will take on the glycogen. And I'll look more muscular and perhaps even more vascular if I'm dry. So that'd be great. And yeah, of course, the wedding to look forward to. So for now... Um, I'm just doing some online work and I will go and train my client tonight. But uh, yeah, pretty good day and I will continue and I hope you have a good one.